to start a vlog. Hello guys, it's been a while, but I decided to vlog a little bit this weekend. So it's Friday, it's right after work, and we are headed to, um, we're gonna actually drop off a gift really quick and then headed to church. So I hope to vlog this weekend and let's see what happens. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a kid for me. Wrapped up nice and By the way, I'm here with Maddie Waddy. And we just got here to my brother in law's uh, and sister in law's house. And um, our nephew, he had a birthday party. I mean, not a birthday party, a birthday. And so we came to drop off his gift. It's really bad lighting right now. I don't like this lighting. <laughs> and I don't think they're there because Jonas is coming back. I like these houses, they're like, they're older but they're nice. I guess more I like the landscape because it's already a developed, you know, nice landscape. Well, not, nice this landscape. <laughs> not this one, not this one. You see, baby? <laughs> this one, not, She's I mean, nothing precious. wrong with it, but. Uh, nothing wrong with it, but yes. I like when there's a lot of trees and the house has been there. Ooh, and the trees are big. Like right now, our house has little trees. I think we should have bought bigger trees because I want it to look like this. Oh, yeah. So we came to the park because um, they weren't home. So they were. They told us they were down the street at the park next, next uh, nearby. And we're gonna drop off the gift, and then we're gonna head off to church um, because church actually starts in about 20, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah. So we just got. We are here. So, uh, tonight, I want to tell you that the Bible tells us we need to push ourselves. Mm -hmm. We need to push ourselves to seek God. We need to push ourselves to come to church. We need to push ourselves to pay attention when we come to church. We have to push ourselves to worship when we're in church. We need to push ourselves to read our Bible. We need to push ourselves to spend time in prayer. Because these are things that naturally we don't want to do. Church, and we're like, oh, it's just a little bit of us. What well, does it matter? You know, the, the rest of us are not, are not gonna do anything extra. It's nice to see people here. But we didn't come to connect with people. We came to connect with God. Amen. And that's... Good morning, guys. I am... This is Saturday morning, and I completely forgot to vlog. We just went to have dinner last night, so it was just that. But this morning, my church is having a plate sale, barbecue plate sale, and I am going to bring in the rice. So I'm making eight cups of rice. I make four cups in each. And I, then I put it into a little ice chest that we have, and I take it over to the church. And that's just the way that we fundraise uh, for our monthly expenses. And so uh, we're really small. I don't know if you I mentioned, you guys saw the building yesterday. We're very small and, you know, um, we're, we're a great church, uh, but it is small in numbers. So uh, this really helps us out every month. We get to uh, sell brisket plates or chicken barbecue uh, plates with a little piece of sausage, rice, beans and it comes with potato salad and uh with a drink for only eight dollars guys uh, and i know you're not living you don't live here some of you might not live close by but i'm just trying to um show you you know um how we we um help support our church and so right now this rice is almost done and when i mean rice i mean like mexican style rice this one's already finished and I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the ice chest that I'm telling you about. I made Maddie some waffles, and I make I made one more. I think this one should be about done. Yes, look at how beautiful that is. But my husband Jonas, he was bringing um, barbacoa, which is like a shredded beef that you eat for breakfast here. Uh, I mean, you can eat it any time, but they usually sell it for breakfast here from the area that I'm from. And um, hi, Bally. She needs a haircut. 
But look how cute and furry she looks. So, yes. Uh, when I come back after that, I'm going to do some light cleaning. I have to, we have to wrap that in uh, some saran wrap to put that away into storage and just clean up a bit. I already have some dishes in the dishwasher and I need to load these until um, I can make the load. But yeah, that's what's going to happen today and later on we'll see what happens. We're going to be doing a lot of little projects throughout the house and I'm going to show you one thing that we have finished or we almost finished. It's practically done. I'll show you right now. Okay, so here we have it. Our mudroom. Yay! Round of applause. <laughs> okay, so this mudroom here it is practically finished. We need the crown molding that's going to go on the top. And that's the only thing. And the baskets. I'm looking for baskets. And it's really hard to find baskets because these uh, cubbies are actually pretty big. And I think I found some from Michael's. They're like uh, wick baskets that will fit. I think, it, I mean, they're not going to be obviously fitted. But they're going to, they're the biggest ones that I could find for a good price. So, um I'm working on that and of course Jonas needs to get those boxes out of those are all his Ninja Turtle toys that he's collecting he's collecting toys and he's leaving them in boxes and he just put them there but I mean obviously this is a mudroom that's what it's for it's meant to you know uh, house our backpacks our purses our jackets uh, we had just had a little cold front here and when I mean cold front I mean like 40 degree weather so we took our jackets so it's already going to get hot, so I don't really foresee us having a lot of jackets here, but mostly backpacks and things until the end of the year. And then these cubbies down below, or these um, drawers down below, have dog food. They have like dog supplies. But yeah, we're really excited about that. And then we need to move on to our mudroom or our master closet. We don't know. I mean, I'm sorry, not mudroom, laundry room or master closet that needs to uh, the cabinetry. But Jonas did this all by himself, so it took him a couple of months because he only works on the weekends, and so he would focus just like, okay, I'm going to do this part, okay, and then I'm going to paint it, and then I'll do this part. And So it was like, in, he did it like in installments, like it took him about a month, like I said. But it's practically done. We just need the crown molding, and the upstairs is another project that we kind of just, we finished the theater room. That one's complete, but the room next to it, already has the cabinets on there but we haven't finished that one I can show you that later on but it's really uh, it doesn't have the flooring it doesn't have the stair rail yet or the stair railing yet around it so when we go up there we always have to be careful like just to walk far away from the the opening um, but overall I mean we're seeing progress uh, in our house I think Jonas is here Jonas is here we are back home and we were there a little bit longer. There was an incident that kind of happened. <laughs> well, our church has the uh, the parking bumper. I don't know what it's called. The, the yellow, you know, the bumper, the stopper. And it happened to me before where I forget to not park so close. So I ended up parking close. And as I was leaving, which is around noon, um, I heard... A loud crackling sound and sure enough when I got off my bumper had completely not completely I'm sorry the at the ends of both sides had come off and I was like oh my goodness so I had told my sister my younger sister that I was gonna give her a ride and so I we were driving with a car like that not even like a, a block when my car started telling me that <laughs> there was a um, that it could it was giving me like a warning sign that it had obstruction to the front because obviously it felt the bumper that was low so i kind of had to go back to my church and then i called my husband well, i had called him on the way and he and he went and got it and fixed it so yeah that was an incident so but it was kind of worked out because i ended up staying a little bit longer and i ended up helping out uh there in my church so i guess it worked out but um yeah so we were there and um so i just got back and i cleaned up a bit I washed the pots that I made the rice and I kind of wiped the counters and then took Bingley outside <laughs> and right now we're just gonna go ahead and just relax a bit <laughs> Maddie, Maddie. we're gonna relax a bit and go watch a movie upstairs we've been watching the Ninja Turtles cartoon series from the 90s the well we're gonna watch the cartoon and then we're gonna watch the movies we also have the movies 
So Maddie really got into the Ninja Turtles and that's the collection in the mud room that you see there that Jonas has been collecting like toys. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, I don't know if I've ever showed you this table here. I ended up getting this console table from Kirkland's and we put the kids photos this year. Uh, Hunter and Diego will be graduating this year and Maddie's in fifth grade. So, um, and I put a little bit of Easter decor, not a lot. I need to pick up a bit here in the living room, but I just put a few touches of Easter, like little decor decor. I moved this around a little bit, but I don't know if I want to keep, because before I had the two tier, like I kept the, oops, blurry. I just kept the, the, the small one and the medium size, and I had this one like stored away, because I feel like it looks so big. But I decided to put the other one and try it out, but I don't know, I'm not convinced. Well, anyways, we'll see. Then I have like some little eggs, a little um, garland that I got at Dollar Tree, and these, um, glass eggs that I got from TJ Maxx last year. Happy Easter, y'all. That one's from the Dollar Tree this year, from the Dollar Plus. And just an Easter egg. Um, it's like I said, not a lot. Here on my coffee table, I brought these, this floral piece that I've had for a while. I bought these days. I created this one. I had thrifted the little picture and, uh, this book from that I found at Dollar Tree a couple years ago. It's Dear Jane, so it's basically a little um, wise counsel from Jane Austen, which is super cute. And then that Hello Spring that I got at the 99 cent plus store. So yeah, but we're just gonna be here in the house for a while, just relaxing and see what else comes up. Let me show you this little table here. Also from Kirkland's, I just went ahead and added these two little bunnies that I also got at the 99 cent plus store. I added that uh, vase with some floral that I got at Hobby Lobby. And here in the entryway, it really didn't do anything actually. Just the uh, these olive branches that I found. And this actually has been a, a mirror and wreath that I've had for a long time. And I've contemplated whether I should change it or not because it had been with me for a while, but I think I still like it. I still, uh, there's no really need to get rid of it yet. I feel like it still uh, fits my style, and uh, so I think I'll, keep, I'll stay with it for a while. Here in my office slash prayer room, I went ahead and added this little garland here that I have. Uh, I'm not too sure where I got that one. Maybe the Dollar Tree or maybe, I'm not too sure. But it's just little bunny rabbits with carrots and it's a small garland and I added it up here in my office. This is where I keep my Bible, I keep supplies and this is where I have my uh, speaker that I use for my phone and I put um, prayer instrumental music if you ever, um, you know, if you have a, like a prayer room, you probably know if you have a prayer room that YouTube has awesome instrumental music that you can play when you are praying it just um just adds that atmosphere of praise in and so this decor i've had for a while already since for about a year be still and know and that right here that uh bull i've actually had since i was still in the uh, living in the other house and we we're preparing to buy decor I had found it on clearance at TJ Maxx and I bought it and I really wasn't sure where I was going to add it to and I feel like it fits the style of this room and um, the it's kind of like a I don't want to say like a what's that hobo hobo not hobo boho boho not hobo boho style uh, it's a faux leather couch and I got a Walmart and the dark uh, the dark cabinet with the the rug that has dark and rust colors to it kind of ties in the couch and the cabinet together and that floral piece that I, you see there I've had that one actually for a few years and I bought it at this store called Fias Paredes they, they closed down the one here locally but at that time which is a pretty big frame I don't know if you see it's a pretty big frame and it's not like on a not on a canvas, but like on a wood, um, I guess wood, wooden 
um, plate and it it's painted over so it makes it look like it has real strokes uh, of painting and I only paid ten dollars for that um, so I thought that was a steal and I've had it for a while and I think it looks really good in the office okay I'm about to make popcorn because Maddie and Jonas and probably I will be watching the Ninja Turtle series that I've mentioned so what I do is I use a cup of this okay about six tablespoons not flat I actually scoop the whole thing whatever comes out so it's really more than five tablespoons but because um, I use like the tablespoon I like I said I scoop up whatever comes out of this is uh, coconut oil um, made for popcorn it's the what brand is this it's the snappy pure coconut oil okay and this is what gives it really uh, that popcorn flavor or smell and then we have flavor cult and basically I only use a teaspoon and a fourth of a teaspoon for this so let me get that ready I'm gonna go ahead and start it I had to clean it I forget to clean this thing it's still not perfectly clean but because we're gonna be making popcorn I'm not gonna completely clean it. I did clean the the bowl that goes inside uh, quickly and then I kind of wiped the the walls of the popcorn machine but the plan is to put this upstairs in that room that I was telling you about that we haven't finished I think I showed them to you before but that one's still the way it is probably from the last time you saw it if you remember that video uh, I'll probably show it to you again right now but that's the plan this machine should go upstairs and we will be putting a little sink over there a microwave and a little small fridge um, that will be going upstairs so that way if we need to use this upstairs we can wash it upstairs and have to take it back and forth so like i said these are the ingredients one cup of corn i like the orville over oh what's that orville redenbacher and then six full tablespoons uh of this coconut oil and then a, a teaspoon and a fourth of this uh flavor cult which is very important because that one gives it a lot of flavor the salty flavor that your popcorn needs. You don't want to go too much. You want to make sure it's about a tablespoon for about a cup because I put a little bit of more of fourth because um, just to give it the extra flavor. But I've done where I thought, hey, that's a little bit. Why don't I put like more than that? And my popcorn was so salty. So I learned my lesson. So I'm about to put in the oil and then I put the popcorn and then the seasoning and I just wait for the machine to start popping it. And I highly recommend this popping, topping oil we put it in this bottle here and we microwave it and then we just use this to but uh to put butter on our popcorn but really that gives it the if you like it of course if you like extra butter on your popcorn you need to get this the orville Red, redenbacher brand because i've tried the other brand and it's not as good as this one and there the popcorn is coming out what I need. It still needs to be finished. But we'll get to it. I'm not bored. I'll add sex to these apples. You are certain this will work. Trust me. Now remember, the device will only... See, I had a check. <laughs> so we have the standee because we got this for one of Jonas's birthdays. And we brought him up here to the theater room. Isn't he cool? I'm a little bit out of breath. But I don't know if you've seen these posts. I think I showed them to you before. But we just finished with the movie. And this is the little kitchenette that I mentioned. Right here in the middle, we hope to put a sink. And then right here on top, I just want to do two wooden um, shelves that are going to run like, like that. And like I said, we're going to have a microwave and a little mini fridge here. And the plan is to... Of course, finish the floor and all that. Put the uh, the um, the landing here, the stair. I don't know what it's called, but 
the railing, whatever. And then, of course, we're going to put a little sofa here, a sitting area, and basically that's about it. We might put a TV. Uh, let's go down. Hey, what are you doing up here? Go down. So, we're going to a onion festival that our town is having, and um, we really haven't gone to one in a while, right? Wait, well, I've never been to one. You never been to one? I've been, been to one, one but um, they used to be one. They used to be in the park. Now they they closed down downtown. Um, down. Downtown. Remember that and, Popeyes um, in uh, Orlando? You can stay home. But I didn't. It know. is packed. I thought, you said, uh, I thought you said we were going here just for dinner. I'm That's why I was like, oh, if we're what's... going for dinner, then like, then I'm gonna go. So it is packed guys... here in our downtown area. No, I'm just saying. And, I thought um, you guys were just going for dinner. They, to go to we're just gonna walk place. around. It's one. It's like one street that they closed down, and basically this uh, festival. Um, it just is a festival because back in the day, uh, always, I'm sure they still harvest onion here, but so they used, used to, to have a festival for it called the Onion Festival and they used to sell onion blossom or they sell onion blossoms. And um, and so they continue this festival every year. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, stop, stop at, stop by, I'm sorry. Um, we're going to go and turn around because we didn't find parking the first time. What Popeyes? 20 minutes later and we finally found a parking. <laughs> no, I'm just exaggerating. Like, no, about 15 minutes. Let's go get free stuff. We ended up in a comic store. That's right down the street. You never, you never knew about this place, haven't you? No. You, well, you knew about it, but just didn't. We never came inside it. <laughs> you want tacos? Zombie. I'm so cold. And you guys over there. I don't know. So we were there for about an hour or less. But we didn't, there was a lot of food there to choose from, but we want to go sit somewhere and have dinner at a restaurant instead. So we just got a snack, a little snow cone, and we're walking towards our car already. Uh, they had some students there playing. Um, our, the school that I teach at, they have a, a little conjunto band uh, that they play in events. And every time that there's an event here in our town, they always ask to play. Did you have fun, Maddie? No. She didn't want, she wanted to leave right away. But I'm like, let's just go. We're gonna be there for a little bit anyhow. I agree. Anyways. So we're gonna come have one of our favorites. It's a Mexican seafood place, but it has really good guatanas. <laughs> let's zoom in on that ET. Zoom in and eat me. This is my old shirt, it's not my good one. <laughs> that what? <laughs> not the fancy one. That's not the fancy. Oh, that's not the, the, the fancy ET shirt. That's the... It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a drink, Manny? Good morning, guys. This is Nora on day three of vlogging today i will be vlogging this is the last day i'll vlog um i wanted to do like an extended um weekend although i didn't have friday off but i always feel like my weekend always starts on friday after work <laughs> so uh yes yeah, so today i will be vlogging we do have a concert today that we're going to be going to it's a christian concert called from a band called casting crowns and they're going to have other two bands all there as well so it should be an exciting day. We are headed off to church right now. Um, so we're just, I'm just waiting for Jonas to finish getting ready and Maddie just, uh, I just did her hair. So we're going to be heading that way right now in a bit. Um, so just kind of want to explain a little bit about my church. Um, on Fridays, we, are, we had started doing um, English services because we are a Spanish church where um, we do, you know, our... Um, 
where songs are sang in Spanish, the pastor, my sister, she does her message in Spanish. And we knew that we needed a day specifically for English speakers, which are usually our kids who don't really know Spanish. And um, all those Sunday schools are done in English. When they go to the back, they get all the, the lessons in English, but the actual uh, service part is not. So we knew that we needed to start a Friday service, um, not Friday necessarily, but a service that um, that was just in English. And so Friday is our English service. So it's very um, important that we that we have that for the kids. Uh, and I I enjoy English services because we get to sing the songs in English. We get to hear the word in English. And even though I do speak Spanish and I grew up, I was born and raised here in the in the states. Um, I did learn to speak Spanish first because, um, well, my mom was from, um, did not, did not speak English. And, uh, so I got to learn how to speak Spanish and English basically right away. Uh, I don't remember a time when I don't, I didn't speak English, but I know that, you know, uh, it, it was my first language, but I quickly learned to speak English right away. I went, went to school and all my classes were in English. So, um, I've spoken both languages basically all my life, and so it, it's very important to, to to have that English service as well. Uh, unfortunately, my kids they didn't really pick up the Spanish too much. My mom took care of Maddie when she was little for a few years while I was working, and I had thought for sure she's going to pick up on Spanish because she's with her, and she didn't. <laughs> she learned. Uh, I think she understood my mom. They they were able to, you know, my mom would speak to her in Spanish. Maddie would um, would learn a few words, but never not enough to actually speak the language, which is very sad. And I've been trying to get her to learn Spanish. I bought her an app from um, uh, called Babbel, and the only thing is that we're not consistent with it, and we need to be more consistent because I do want her to learn Spanish because it's I know it's very important for her to learn it. Um, so. Yeah, I know that's a big explanation, but I just wanted to, I thought I'd just share that. <laughs> so yes, follow us today. We have more exciting things to do. Uh, we'll have, like I said, serve English uh, Sunday service, and then we'll go out to lunch, probably come back home and just be here for a little bit while we prepare to go to the concert today, which is exciting. That's from last year, so it's not going to be. So they're going to write on a journal that we have. I need to get the journals for my class. Because I have some journals that I'm not using and uh, right now they're using like a planner but it's paper right so oh it looks blurry too no it looks good now yeah. look at put in slow motion slow motion <laughs> Bingley, we're back home. We just took Bingley out. Hi, Bella. So, this is Lazy Sunday, so I haven't really vlogged much because um, when we come back from church, we know that we call it Lazy Sunday here in our house. <laughs> Hubby's asleep. and uh, But we are going about to get up in about a couple minutes because we do need to get ready for that concert. I am really excited about it. It's from, uh, the concert is Casting Crown. I think it's We Are Messengers and somebody else. <laughs> but I don't, I don't think I know who this person is. So I'm excited to see, um, see who's going to be performing. And I'm excited just to see the overall um, bands that are going to be there as well. Um, yeah, I don't know that made any sense. Uh, but right now, like I said, we're just here. That's yeah, so why I haven't vlogged much, but everybody's kind of in their own thing. I actually had to do some laundry, and I did also clean the... the well, actually, I haven't rinsed it, but I did clean the shower floors as well because I wanted to be a little bit productive and do something. Well, let me show you. Okay, so this is the restroom. We wash the towels. I want to get a basket to put our towels because uh, we don't really keep the towels over here in our linen closet, which I think we should make space for it. 
but we fill it up with so many things. Uh, I try to organize this a little bit here, but really I think towels would fit here, but I need to make room for all that and be a little bit more organized. Uh, here in the shower, I'm, I bought that brush down here, you can see it, and I fill it up with vinegar and Dawn dish soap, and that, that combination works really well. And so I went ahead and um, scrubbed all the floors and I left the, the soap on there to kind of um, work a little bit better and clean the, the tile, uh, the grout I mean. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it in about a few minutes. It's been about five minutes or so that I, no, it's about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer to sit there and then that way I can go in there and rinse off the soap. We just got here to the concert, so we're parking and then making our way in. Look at the line. There's a big line. We are here and we didn't realize how close these seats were. Um, they're pretty good seats. Yeah, we are in the right one. They, they walked this to the seats. <laughs> Sister, she should be coming, and I think she's sitting down this way, but the arena. Yeah, hi, Nanny. Hi. <laughs> my popcorn, look what happened to my popcorn. I dropped it. Jonah still has all of his. Responsible. <laughs> He will heal 
Because of what I've done, but because of who you are. 